Hey! Hey! None of that! I warned you! Oh, bloody listen! Cheeky bugger. It's back. It's back. It's back. It's back. It's back. Crap, 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 crap. Well, it's not really because it's Mattel. So hello, everybody, and welcome back to another... <laughs> to another episode. I really should... I... I'm... Oh. Welcome back to English Man Child Unboxes Toys! So, we have had loads and loads of uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom stuff sort of come out recently. We had the Legacy, and depending on where you are in the world, you get some really good stuff. However, over here in UK, we do have some, or at least where I am, we do have some. However, there's not really a wide, wide selection. I know, I sound spoiled, don't I? I don't have everything! Hey! But, we have some um, returners from the Jurassic World franchise. If you remember my video I did of um, the straw that broke the beaver's back. Yes, my long rant of how I was so frustrated and annoyed with Hasbro. But, they have returned. And they will be presented by my beautiful assistant. Take it away! <laughs> ah, do you have to? God damn it! <laughs> Say they're fragile. They're probably not. So these are the mystery packs. Yes, they are back. They are cheap. They are at three pound. But are they worth it? That's the question. Before I get into them, I just want to say that these toys that we have got, like the, the new Mattel ones, like the amazing Colossal T-Rex, basically the whole range, I really don't think there's any weak factors in it. Maybe the ten, some of the uh, box 10 pound toys, and maybe possibly these, but you know what? This isn't gonna bother me because it bothered me with Hasbro because just everything was bad, 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 bad. Whereas this, this is just like, well, you know, there's a little cheap version. From what I see on the side of the box, they don't look as bad. And they have some, some of them have articulation. So already, miles above, miles above. And the fact is, I, I mean, I would be more annoyed if there wasn't eggs. But they are releasing some sort of egg, like barcoded eggs. Because even in Fallen Kingdom, they have barcoded eggs. Like there's three Indoraptor eggs or whatever they are that are barcoded. So it's a bit annoying that they haven't done this. Although they may bring it out later. I do miss the days of a little little candy candy with a, a little toy. But anyway, should we open one? Oh, fun story. Uh, the only place that sold these for me was Smith's. And I couldn't buy it in bulk. I actually took the whole thing to the counter and went... Please. And they said that they couldn't do that. They, they wouldn't sell it in bulk. So I had to make like three or four trips back to Smith's to buy five, five of them each time. And eventually here we are. And do you want to know how many I don't have? There is 23 in total. Two, four, six. There's 24. There's, there, should, there should be 24 in total. And I have 16. So we're actually missing like eight. But that doesn't matter now, does it? No, no. Let's continue. There's one in here that was always open and nobody ever bought it. But we're going to start with this one. So here it is. Here's a, a ooh, hold on, there you go. There's a lovely view of the packaging. The, the uh, Mount Saibo there in the background erupting. And uh, the claw of what seems to be Indoraptor. It looks very like Indominus, the, uh, what they could have done. So the packaging itself is actually really nice. As, as apart from like the Hasbro one, which is just some like dinosaur concept art that I thought they might have found on DeviantArt or something. Not that that's bad. I mean, it just didn't look Jurassic Worldy. Whereas this one right at the back, you got the Jurassic World uh, Fallen Kingdom logo, the Mount Saibo uh, eruption with the orange, and a nice little egg, which just makes me want the egg. <laughs> you know I want this. Why are you teasing me on the packet, damn it? Anyway, this one's really thin. On the back, we have all of the health and safety things that we're used to getting with these sort of things. But with the Hasbro, you've got like a, like a pull-out leaflet of don't choke, don't choke, don't choke in like 50 gazillion languages. So we're going to open this one. I like how they have a little, um, a little, whoo, a little holy. So you can put them on a little hanger there. That's quite nice. So this is, this is YouTube revenue mystery never before seen. <laughs> so let's open this. It's really thin, this one. So I, d I mean, I'm guessing... It's got to be like a Pteranodon or something. Oh my god. How the- What the hell in the blazes am I supposed to open? Ah! It's a mystery how you're supposed to bloody open these things. Ah! Ah! Fine, I'll get out scissors or something. God. 
Didn't think I was gonna need tools to open the mystery packet. That's solid tight though. Do -do -do. Does it actually pick me up from down here? That would be amazing if it did. Hello everybody from the kitchen. Oh, bloody work out of this. Hello, I'm back. Right, so we take the scissors and cut and snip the packet. There you go. Ha, beat you. Yeah. Oh, it, oh look, you can already see, can you see inside? <gasps> what is it? It's a pecky eyes. Oh, 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 look at the, <gasps> ooh. What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, look at that. Now, if you compare it to Hasbro, what you got is a little triangle, a little bit of cardboard to protect the toy, understandable. But then you just got like this, 20 folded bit of paper that you unfolded and it was just all this do not open warning stuff. Look at that. Look what you got with this. You got like, um, you got Mount Cyber. That's lovely. That's, that's really, that's a really nice bit of art. You could put that like against a wall and have a diorama with the toy as a little like photo shoot. That would look great. Oh, that's awesome. And then in, oh, sorry, on the back. What's on the back? Oh, look. <gasps> Ooh. You've got like a ticky off of all of them. You've got the T-Rex, the Apatosaur. Hold on, T-Rex, Apatosaur, uh, Dilophosaurus, Triceratops, Stegosaurus, uh, Ankylosaurus, Velociraptor, uh, Blue, Parasaurolophus, Stiggy Moloch, Pteranodon. Oh, there you go. Um, Baryonyx, and what seems to be at the bottom, another T-Rex and an Indominus Rex. And I don't know if these mysteries mean it's, it's all random, because on the side of the box, one, two, three, four, eight, 12, there's only 12 different ones, but there's two extra ones down here. So does that mean that T-Rex has a different paint job? In fact, it does, it actually does have a paint job. So it looks like you got, oh, only available in three packs. Okay, so you can't get T-Rex or Indominus in the random ones. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I would really like to actually have the Hasbro uh, mystery uh, dinosaurs, but I don't have them with me. But what I'll do is I'll throw, if I can, I'll throw up a picture from the previous video and we could just compare them. And then inside, there it is. That's, that's not bad. Look at this guy. There you go. So here's the Pteranodon. And as I predicted or sort of had seen, if you look at the wings, there you go, articulation! And the um, the actual plastic itself seems to be pretty decent quality. It's It's got like a sort of satin finish. Uh, it's not like a shiny thing. Uh, I think it's been like spray painted, but you got a lovely, lovely little bit of texture there on the wing. Um, even inside the mouth, you've got some d uh, dimples for the teeth and a little paint splodge for the eye, but just this airbrushing effect on the tips of the wings, on the shoulders, on the uh, on the pelvis. For three quid for a little dinosaur toy? That isn't bad at all. Hold on, can we pro plop them down? How many different ways can we pose them? So you've got like, you've got like the little swooping version there. He's like, Mah! and then, apparently the right wing is way more flexible than the left. It's, it's not too bad. I got. I was like three quid. It's still actually a bit of money <laughs> for a kid, anyway. Um, but uh, you, for what it is, it it isn't bad at all. That's that's pretty decent. The fact that you can you know you can place your little pterodon down there, and then you can like stick this to a wall, and then look at that. You've got a little scene down here. That's really cool. I like that a lot. That's awesome. Okay, so let's place you there. Chuck you down there. Grab another one. I mean, we're gonna open all of them. Collector inside me is like, don't, don't open a few. But that's not what I came here to do. We came to open them all. Ooh, look at, ooh, <gasps> look at that. We got like, oh, hold on. We got a little Stiggy Moloch there. The first Stiggy Moloch I've ever seen. As a toy, I'm pretty sure the first one looks really cool. You've got this uh, little head articulation so you can move it up and move it down so you can have him eat or headbutt or charge. Although he does seem to get like a little weird bulge <laughs> on the top of the neck right there. You've got like the plastic orange, then a spray little airbrush on the back for the brown, then a, 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 a sorry, a gray for the, or a gray? No, a brown, a brown for the head, and then for the actual dome itself is a gray. So you've got one, two, three, and black for the eye as well. So you've got like five colors there. Wow, Trandon was really the, uh, if they're all orange though, I'll be a bit worried. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, yes! <gasps> it's my favorite! Oh my god! Yes! Hold on, guys! Oh, he's so cute! My first Parasaurolophus from Fallen Kingdom. 
Oh, please tell me they've got like a bigger version. You know, I had to go at people like, eh, my favorite dinosaur's not in the movie. And I'm like, look, okay, they can't, they don't have enough screen time to put every dinosaur in here. I am like, please put a Parasaurolophus in. Really cute. You've got like a little head articulation there so he can go drink or he can call to friends like that. If we somehow manage to get all of them, then I'll, I'll not open any. Oh, we got another Stiggy Moloch. That's a bit of a shame. Pack number five. Whoa, there you go. There's a new one. Tri Ooh, that's chunky. Yes. Look at that for a triceratops. Um, it even has articulation. You'd think, oh no, it's just one big solid bit of plastic. But no, you've got a little bit there. And I just, just one. I mean, if you look down there, you've got, ooh. <laughs> his neck looks like it's broken off. But no, that look actually, no, you know what? It doesn't. It doesn't look that bad. Because, like, if you just see, like, behind, if I just use my hand as a backdrop so you can see the uh, silhouette a bit more. No, that looks really good. The, or, or you can have them, like, <laughs> Pack number six. Oh, God, there's a blue hair in here. Uh, uh, <laughs> get away. Oh, yes. Look at that. It's all, it always comes out ready with the... Uh, the little backdrop behind it. Here is the Baryon. Oh, that looks nice. That looks really cool. Like the little, uh, you've got like this really nice paint job. I don't know if you can see it too well in this camera because it's, uh, it's a little bit too shiny. Oh, and you've got a really, like you've got the jaw that can open really wide. That looks so cool. Really nice detail. Like you look at the body, it's all smooth. If we can get like a really close up image and then the head. That's not bad. For a little figure, they've put loads of effort into that. As long as, really, for these sorts of figures, right, as long as the sculpt looks good, that's all you need. We're not asking for amazing paint jobs when it comes to this. All it needs is a really nice sculpt, paint job, not to be all like blur <laughs> on it, and it looks great. That's all we need. It, and the only thing that would make it better is if it was friggin' toy sweets in there and an egg. Eggs. That would be it. 10 out of 10. As far as it stands, they're like seven, I'd say. Six, seven, and they're okay. Right. Oh, oh, there it is. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> this guy. This. I, I have like a little affection for this apatosaur here, just because it was the first thing I saw when I went into Smith's and I was like, oh, mystery packs, and I pulled one up and it just fell out. Because, <laughs> I mean, in comparison to the actual package itself, it's, it's basically like the whole size, especially when you think about um, where they need to seal it. Like that's, that's the uh, foldable bit there. So this thing is like really long for the entire packet. What happened is the bottom gave away. Like they obviously, when they when the machine glued it, it uh, went over the tail and then it just sort of like the air got to it and then the rest of it lifted as well. Yeah, look at that head. It looks like, it is, it's the one from Jurassic World. Definitely, it's got like a little ET feature about it and it's got that articulation. Lovely, lovely like detailing there on the body, little folds of fat and the neck itself, of course, can move up. So if you wanted to, you could have a Brachiosaurus. <laughs> Go on then. Package number eight. <gasps> yeah, it's another new one. Da -da 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 -da! There it is, Dilophosaurus. And even this guy has like articulation. We're just holding there. You can move the head up and down like that. Oh, that's great. Oh, it looks like he's on a shelf or like above spitting down at his victim. So with this one, uh, it's it's the same sort of color as we've seen with the 10 pound um, action figure, the little one. Uh, well, I'd say this is smaller, but the one that came with the little uh, venomous spit. It's exactly the same uh, color scheme. So if we're gonna see a Dilophosaurus in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, which I really feel like it's just gonna be a maquette, like it's just gonna be a puppet in the background of the diorama inside Lockwood's estate. I feel like that's what it's gonna be. And let's save him for Dilophosaurus for the last one, 100%. Even though Dilophosaurus only featured in Jurassic Park, it is a toy in every movie. Every movie it's had a toy, which is crazy to think about. Nice little addition, breaks up the uh, the color there. Pack number nine. Ooh, that, ooh, this one's a big one. Ooh, it's a stand. Hold on. Can I guess what it is? This. Oh, that's a Baryonyx. Unless there's a different carnivore. No, it's got a long head. It's got, yeah, that's a Baryonyx. I'm not gonna open that one because I know what that is. Little tail. Ooh. 
Oh, oh, that's an apatosaur. <laughs> it's that long. It's got to be a apatosaur. I can feel that. If I just like compare the two. And does the head move up? Yeah, that's an apatosaur. We're not opening that one. <laughs> you can definitely tell. Okay, uh, what's this one? Oh, let's open this one. Aha, I was right. The oh, yeah, it's a stegosaur. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that looks great. I mean, it's a shame, like, you've got these lovely uh, painted um, spines along the back, but then uh, you got no paint in the middle. <laughs> it just sort of went tss along the sides and then forgot about the top, which is what you want when it comes to the stegosaur. Who cares really about moving the head too much? It's the tail. And from the looks of it, this guy looks like a scaled down version of the bigger one we have that's somewhere that's hiding down there, the one that can actually wrap its tail that's all green. What are you? See, this is half the fun. It's like, oh, what is it? Oh, I wonder. Little head, spines, stegosaurus. 100% that's a stegosaur. <laughs> okay, let's check out this guy. Could be a Stiggy Moloch. I feel like it's a Stiggy Moloch, but let's see if I was right. I'll open it anyway, just to be safe, because I, I can't really tell what that one is. Oh no, I ended up cutting up the little leaflet. <laughs> Oh, damn it, it's a Dilophosaurus, Ah. Oh. Okay, we're down to the last three. 100% flat. There is no other dinosaur that could be. That's a Tyrannodon. Not gonna open that one. Aha! It wasn't a head I was feeling, it was a tail. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, by far, that's the best paint job. Look at that. It's a Woodlouse. <laughs> this is the Ankylosaurus. Look at you there. Oh, but if you look at the back, They've got like one paint strip, two paint strip, like in between the uh, the extra spikes of the armor and the tail there. Uh, the tail, I think, moves left and right. But bloody hell is it stiff. Like that, that, oh, there we go. Oh, it's just because it was the first time it was being moved. So there we are. There, so it can wrap its tail back and forth. Even on the underbelly, look at that. You've got like the paint spray on the underbelly, the black for the eye there. A lovely, lovely detail on the armor. This is definitely the Ankylosaur for uh, Jurassic World. Probably the best. And the good look at the tail there. As far as model goes, ooh, I'd really like that Ankylosaur. Just the level of detail in comparison to the other ones. Ooh, it stands out, yeah! Oh, I'm so good. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of a potential 12. So we have one more pack. We got two Raptors and uh, the T-Rex to get. Ooh, let's see. I would hope that they would at least give you one of each in the entire pack, so. Damn it! The kids, or whoever picked it up, couldn't have got one of the Sticky Morlocks or Puggies. Okay, what's this one? It's a Theropod. That's good. Oh no! Yeah, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a D-Lo. It's a D-Lo, 100%. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. I think it's a, it's a Dilophosaurus. Because the head is actually quite wide. I'm feeling it there, and I think that's the quest. We'll open it up anyway. You know what? Just, just to prove that... Okay, I'm gonna guess. Dilophosaurus! The survey says... Oh no! It's a Triceratops! <laughs> <laughs> he thought he got it right. Oh, there it is. Another Triceratops. But I didn't open four of them because I was pretty sure that's a Pteranodon. That, I don't know uh, what was. This is an Apatosaur and this one is something else. But for the sake of argument and just in case I might have missed one, I will open these. So this one, uh, yeah, this one's the Baryonyx. I thought it was a Baryonyx. I thought so. <laughs> so I'll put him in there. I'll bring over the other two uh, copies I got, the Stiggy Moloch and the other Dilophosaurus. Oh no, that's right, it's Stego. Stego, Pteranodon, Apatosaurus. There's the Pteranodon. Survey says Apatosaurus, there you go. There's two. So in total, we got two Dilophosauruses, two Stiggy Molochs, two Apatosaurus, two Pteranodons, two Triceratopses, two Baryonyx, one Ankylosaur, two Stegosaurs, one Parasaurolophus, and that is it! Aww. We are only missing the two, well, Velociraptor, Blue, and a T-Rex. And that is pretty much the whole set right there. But there is something that you are supposed to do with these, um, with these little toys, and that is feed them to your colossal T-Rex! Look how in scale these all are! <laughs> You're all dead! <laughs> I kind of want to get a good shot. There you go. Okay, so one Stego. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. Just went. Can we, can we try? Okay, second Stego. Kobe. Kobe. 
Kobe? Oh yeah, <laughs> there you go. Uh. How about trying it on? That, that's gonna be a bit more difficult for you, isn't it? There you go, uh, three. Apparently it can open, like, how many does it say it can fit in? I don't even think I have that many. All right, where's the box? 26, oh my god. Try, sir, oh god, try, ceratops. Mm. Oh, look at you there. He's about to go in and just flick. Hold on, hold on. You're going to fall in. You're gonna go. Woo. <laughs> uh. Sorry, uh, how about a, a padasaur to there? There you go. A2 padasaur. Mm -hmm, yes. There's gonna be loads of kids that are gonna be like, yes, eat them all. <laughs> uh, Tyrannodon. Another triceratops. Ooh, my favorite ankylosaur. Be gentle with that one. Ooh, it almost doesn't want to go in, eh? Ah, uh, Baryonyx. Uh, this is a good way to, you know, if you're if you're going to a friend's house, <laughs> a little, you know, if you've got a kid going to a friend's house, you can uh, just pack up all his little, uh, there you go, eat the Parasaurolophus, Parasaur Burger. You can just pack them all into the uh, Colossal T-Rex and then take him along. He's just a giant handbag, really. And look at that. All gone. You don't see any of them. Ooh. Oh, that, look at that. That is the T-Rex there. That looks so cool. So he ate all. I don't know how many that was again. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> it's like a stego just sort of hanging out. Oh god, try triceratops, stego. Oh, they just they just go straight through you, don't they? They're not even digest a little apatosaurus. They all come out? They all came out. There you go. On the tip. There you go. Sorry, I, don't, I know you don't like me touching you there. So guys, that is. Um, the little mystery uh, packs, are they worth three quid? Um, I, I would say depending on which one you get, but for, to be honest, uh, as a general overall, yeah, I'd say they're pretty good. The, my favorite is definitely that ankylosaur. I love this guy. Like the level of detail that's on him and the skull. It looks like the one from Jurassic World Evolution, which is probably the one from the movie anyway. Normally, if Hasbro still had the license and they had churned out just what they did for Jurassic World as they did for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and it was a really ugly T-Rex with no rubber neck. And if these came out, actually in comparison to Hasbro, these are actually pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. But because Hasbro lost the license, Mattel picked it up and they ran with it. I'm gonna say they've done an absolute stellar job, really. Uh, even, even these little three quitters. It was our victory. It wasn't me. It wasn't like, it wasn't just me. It wasn't just like Matt, Matt Brando, who if it wasn't for him, actually I wouldn't have stirred up so much of a fuss as I would. I watched his video and I was like, hold on a minute. No, no, these are bad. And I just sort of like went into my reviews thinking, no, we deserve better. It This, is our victory. We did this, we made the change, and we got much better toys. So anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye